Mental disorders are an illness of the mind that affects how you think, feel, and behave. About 26% of Americans suffer from a specific mental disorder. Uh, it can be caused by genetics, genes, infections, substance abuse, environmental factors, how you're raised, life events. And a lot of mental disorders sadly carry a stigma, which is a mark of shame or disapproval that results in like being rejected by others. So it's important that we talk about mental health to get rid of the stigma, that way we can feel comfortable. Anxiety is a condition of feeling uneasy or worried about what may happen. It is not the same as stress because anxiety is persistent, most of the time for no reason. Um, when chronic, it can actually be diagnosed as a disorder trigger psychosomatic responses which are physical symptoms that lack a medical explanation like increased heart rate increased blood pressure sweating panic attacks are intense periods of fear that develop quickly for about 10 minutes like heart increased heart rate sweating syncope which is fainting and can actually lead to panic disorder where you have multiple panic attacks can lead people to hyperventilate which is uncontrollable rapid breathing the body loses too much carbon dioxide, which means the blood becomes too acidic. And breathing out of a paper bag actually does help because you're breathing in some of the carbon dioxide that you lost, balancing your um, acid levels in the blood. There are, are a lot of different anxiety disorders like phobia, extreme and irrational fear of a person, place, or thing, uh, can be just annoying to life-changing, exposure therapy, it, which is exposing the patient to the anxiety source for treatment, psychology, um, or you know medication to help. Common social phobias and uncommon phobias are on the right. So there's a, basically a phobia for anything. OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, a person has obsessions, which are unwanted thoughts that lead to compulsions, irresistible behaviors, like safety concerns, that's the obsession. The compulsion is continually checking your locks. Fear of germs is the obsession, excessive cleaning and hand washing. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, develops after exposure to a terrifying event in which you know emotional or physical health was harmed. And I apologize for the announcements. Impulse control disorder. You can't resist a temptation like kleptomania unplanned theft of objects, cutting, um, excessive gambling, compulsive shopping, and trichotillomania, which are urges to pull hair out. Mood disorders, uh, bipolar disorder is called manic depressive disorder, changes of mood. You go through two episodes, mania, being super happy, talking fast, increased energy, but it's an issue. It's almost too happy to where it's a problem. And then depressive, a person could go back to the depressive state in the matter of a few days or weeks, which is the complete opposite, loss of interest, feeling guilty. Schizophrenia, mental disorder, where a person loses contact with reality, hallucinations, seeing things that aren't there, trouble focusing, problems with working memory. And if your family has it, there's an increased diagnosis rate because it's super genetic, which can be scary.